Hi, I'm Diana Lynn Van Candy, and I have got my second interview with one of my favorite bass players. David Ellison. And who you're playing right now. We don't have a... She doesn't have a name yet. No name yet. It's for no. sale, though. It is for sale. It's for sale. So if someone wants it, they can take it home and they can name it. <laughs> Perfect. Does that do, you, do you name yours? Uh, I don't. I yeah. To me, bases are like watches or shirts. or I'm like, what color should I wear tonight? Right. Let's put the black one on. So you don't have a name. You just no. go by the color. I have so. silver ones. I'm like, yeah, let me let me wear the silver one tonight. So or, how uh, many bases do you have? Well, I had... It's funny. I, I, I was getting rid of, as I do in times of my life, I'll, I'll move some old stuff out. Mm -hmm. And so I got rid of, I think... I don't know, maybe 20 bases. And somehow I ended up, now I have 30. Wow. So I don't know how, maybe women are like this with clothes. Mm -hmm. You say, oh, I need to clean up. I need to clean out my closet and, and I'll get rid of, I'll get rid of 10 bases and 15 more show up at my house. So now I have more. I think it's this, I don't know, it's just like some spiritual law of money that the more you get rid of, the more that comes your way or and something. And you can sell them when you do conventions. Yeah, no, they are fun. We are at another one. We're at uh, yep. New Jersey. Horrorcon, kind of towards the end of the first day. Well, this is the Pennsylvania Horror Con, right? Oh, shoot, yeah. It's That's okay, it's all right. Sorry. You're from New Jersey. It's been a long, it's been a You're from New Jersey. No, I'm from New York. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. I drove through New, New Jersey. Jersey, okay. I don't even know where That's we are. what it is. You went through New Jersey. But it's been a long day. Now we're, now we're, it has been a long day. We don't yeah. know where we are. Yeah. I don't know where I am. Anyway, all right, so we're in Pennsylvania. Allentown, and it's funny because well, I remember it's playing here in 1980. You know, people come, oh, I remember seeing you guys in 2001 or 2000, I don't know. 16 or something, right? And I'm going, I remember playing here in 1988 on the So Far So Good So What Megadeth Tour. It was, we were on tour with Ronnie Dio, so we were doing Dio, Megadeth, Sabotage. And Sabotage, of course, has become Trans-Siberian Orchestra, right? right? So um, that was my memory. We played Crocodile Rock, which okay. was this like kind of cool, I've heard about that place. cool, not the Elton John song, but a, a nightclub. I worked out here and everybody was going there. To Crocodile Rock. Yes. It was like the place to go, right? Everybody would come there. The rockers yeah. would come in after. It was I the it there, was though. the Lemours of, uh, of Allentown, right? Nice. Yeah. I'm always at the Chance. That's kind of like my yeah. spot. But you're going to be playing at Dingbats. We are playing at Dingbats with uh, the Lucid. When does your tour start? Uh, at Dingbats, okay. ironically. Well, so time. we've got uh, a couple weeks of shows. Uh, it's May. I don't forgive me. I can't remember the dates off the top of my head. But May twentieth, twenty uh -huh. ish. 20th ish, something like that, is when we're starting. So, um, and uh, yeah, so we've been, we actually shot a bunch of videos. We've got some videos coming out in the next I couple saw of months. One of them. Yep, we got I some more coming out in another week or a couple weeks, I guess. Okay. We're going to start putting some more out. And, um, and then we actually have some new songs. We actually have a, a group of songs that we're going to push out coming up, hopefully, before the tour. So uh, we've been working, even though, uh, even though uh, you know we have, we're like the most famous band that's like never been on tour. I don't and, know. And tell so. me everybody who's in it. So it's um, myself, uh, Vin Dombrowski, singer of Sponge, um, who's playing at Dingbats tonight. By the way, uh, I just learned that from a fan here today. Mike Keller, who plays drums in Fear Factory and Raven, and uh, Drew Fortier who uh, was in Bang Tango. He shot a documentary of Bang Tango. They were so fucked up that he joined the band. I don't know how this happens. But more importantly, he did the, we did the Dwellers movie together. Cool. So uh, Drew's wonderful. He's, uh, he's, a, he's a funny movie so, so you're doing movie movies guy. too? Yes. Uh, you know what's funny? Drew, he just texted me. Mm -hmm. And apparently, you know, we submitted this movie for a bunch of... Uh, film festivals and we've got awards back from like I don't know 20 some festivals he just hit me apparently in Rome Italy the Rome International Movie Award Convention Something. gave us a uh, best director best actor best screenplay I think it is something like that so he was all excited it's like uh, which just goes to show if you just show up good things happen so you we show know. up in Pennsylvania Good things are happening in Rome. And everything's like a network and everybody connects. That's just how it is. And, you know. I always say rock stars in motion stay in motion. Rock stars, going, right? 
not in motion, stay not in motion. So. You didn't take a break, you just keep going. Keep going, that's, keep going. that's what we do, yeah. More ideas, too much in you to, yep. to like just let it go. So. Yeah. Well, oh. anything else you want to promote? Um, you know, I oh, have been working on... Oh, you said a documentary. On, yes, I've been okay, working on... That. So Nick Menza, who many know, drummer in Megadeth for the decade of the 90s, mm -hmm. 89 to uh, 98, <laughs> and um, he... Uh, in the, left the group in 98 and then he passed away on stage uh, playing with another former Megadeth guitar player Chris Poland they had a band together and they were playing at the Baked Potato in uh, Studio City which is a, a jazz nightclub now it's interesting Nick's dad Don Menza very esteemed saxophone player played the Pink Panther the theme to the Pink Panther if, if you remember that movie, of course. Um, so it's it's, very, it's yeah. interesting because his uh, one of his friends, Don Randy, owns the baked potato. So Don, the two Dons, kind of grew up together in the business. Um, Don's son, Dave Randy, and Nick Menza and I used to go mountain biking together. So it's kind of this fun little uh, North Hollywood Studio City consortium of like you know kind of the who's who in the jazz book. Um, but so yeah, Nick passed away, so we're doing a documentary film that I'm co-producing, um, and uh, what's fun is there's a, where we, we started making a soundtrack, and it's, Nick's got all these, these drum tracks that he had recorded. I didn't realize how prolific Nick was after Megadeth, you know, I knew a few things that he had done, but I, now that I have the key to the vault and I'm listening to the stuff, I'm like going, wow. There was a lot of stuff that he did, so I grabbed a bunch of friends. I started at first, I thought, you know, we should just write some new stuff over these drum tracks. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're doing, and it's really fun to write songs with Nick, even though Nick's no longer with us here on the earthly plane. Yeah. He left behind some great tracks, and um, so we're, we're writing songs to them. And so this, this will be this new kind of soundtrack to go along with the movie as a companion. Oh, that's really cool. It's very cool. And so Nick is the co-writer. So, uh, and the, the whole purpose of doing it is not only to honor Nick's life, um, because he has so many fans, that it's kind of nice to still just tell this whole story of his life, but also the, the proceeds from it will go to his family. He's got uh, two boys, so that'll go to kind of help them out and keep, keep you know, just kind of keep money in the pipeline for Nick. So it's just, it's, it's a labor of love. It's a fun thing that we're all doing. It's great to see you again. Yes, likewise. And I'll, I'll go to We were at Chiller, right? That yes, was Chiller. Chiller. Yes, yes, yes. That yes. was fun. Yes. These conventions are fun. They're, they're, they're really fun. There can be a lot of random people. We're in PA HorrorCon. Let me, like, fix where we're at. It's, okay. it's been a long day. <laughs> it has been a long day. <laughs> I got up at, like, 6. I don't know what time it is now. Probably. But, it's uh, like 6. It's like 6. The other yeah. 6. I got a yeah. two and a half hour ride home. Nice. But, uh, it's not bad. Well, good to see you again. Way. Yeah. You Glad you came out. Great to see and, you. Uh, and uh, it's, it's nice. There's a good cast of uh, talent here, which is really nice. Uh, yeah, it's been cool. You uh, know, a lot of these people, I don't know them because they have masks on. Like, they're in Nightmare on Elm Street and Halloween and, you know, these, these movies where they have masks and... They're scary, and then you're like you see him sitting at the table. You're like, "That's you," exactly. you know. And, so. the, and it's also a few years later from when yes. we filmed it. So yes, we all, but it's cool. We're all getting older. Horror we're movies out. and heavy metal go hand. It goes together. It yeah, does. You should do music for them, but for some of these like make the connections here. I'm doing it now. You're doing I'm now? writing a song right now. Right now, right here. <laughs> Thank you so much. Exactly. You're welcome. See ya.